All right, YouTubers, this video we're going to install a CPU cooler on top of this i7-12700F. Now, I've been using the i7-12700 in a ASRock B660M-ITX. Yeah, that makes totally no sense. Uh, Given an M name for micro ATX when it's an ITX board, but whatever. Um, we have decided to put it in the ASUS Prime Z690P and we're going to compare how this thing performs to the crappy motherboard. Now that motherboard had 4000 megahertz RAM in it. This one's going to have 4800, maybe 5000, whatever I decide to set it to um, is what we're going to end up with. So. CPU cooler wise, and why you might be watching this, ID Cooling SE914XT. You may have seen me install some of the other CPU coolers. Now, I just got this brand new and haven't really looked at the directions, but hey. Install one of these things, you install them all, right? Here is a uh, backing plate, threaded holes in it. I'm not going to remove the tape. If you're going to basically have this on here for a long period of time, you'll want to do that. Now, there is a kit in the bag, specifically says LGA 1700. The rest of the parts would appear are able to be used with other ones. There is a specific instruction manual in here so if you didn't get this version uh, most likely yours is not ready for LGA 1700. So you can see what we need. We need those parts I just showed you. Let's just call it out okay so back plate right there standoff we've got those right here we need these two bars and we need the tightening nut now normally not really a good idea to put your hardware on top of your motherboard in case you end up damaging or something but since this is a video we uh we shouldn't do that right so let's put those things off there you want to keep the uh, the FOD out of here, right? Um, years ago, I was on the shuttle program. We used to do these walk downs, and uh, always looking for foreign object debris. So I don't think there's anything else in here we need. Now the kit does include other parts, additional fan clips. If you wanted to put a second fan on here. Um, some of their thermal paste, I don't think we're going to use it, and then this guy is good for LGA 1700. So, obviously really nice that you can use this kit for multiple CPUs. But in this one, all we care about is 12th gen, LGA 1700, potentially even uh, some of you might use this for 13th gen. Now, like I said, I'm not going to remove the tape. You would want to do this. We're going to put this in the hole. Now, the question is, folks, how does this go in? It's not a symmetrical part. It goes that way. Alright, let's look at the, uh, the instructions again. So, here's your, uh, really your, like your hinges or whatever, right? Where is the bar? 
right there. Okay, so we are looking at it this way. Then we've got this this guy, and you can see from the picture. How is that oriented? This way, okay. So we're gonna flip the motherboard back over and get that guy in there like so. All right, that's how you do it. Now the question is, will it stay in there? Because we don't have the tape on it. When I put it back on this here box, it looks like it did. All right, now we need those standoffs. So I'm going to get these out of the plastic bag, hopefully. So a place you don't want to work on this, like here I am trying to open this, don't do it over the motherboard, right? You can drop stuff and wreck your motherboard. I once dropped a Phillips head screwdriver on a Sony... Not Sony. An HP desktop basically wrecked the motherboard. So these are not symmetrical. In this case, folks, we got to figure out which way these are supposed to go. Now, hopefully, this is threaded to fit like that. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so interesting enough. <laughs> Which, which end is which. So this goes in either way, it looks like, folks. That's not good. They're, they're threaded the same way. Now, if we look at our picture, can we tell from the picture? So one other thing I used to do was 3D CAD. And quite honestly, folks, I can't tell... Um, it kind of looks like the short side is facing down, right? So this is the short side. So let's set it up that way. And I'm going to put these two in and then we'll go back and fix the other ones. Or I think it's just that one. It's really hard to tell. So what would I call that? You know, back in the day we used to take this class design for ease of manufacturing design for ease of assembly and I gotta tell you ID cooling may have just failed in that aspect because I spent a few minutes trying to figure it out did I figure it out correctly that's a good question and I sure as you know what hope you guys can see what I've been doing here. Alright. There's that. Now we need the bar. So these bars, let's just figure this out, okay? Looking at the picture, this is going to be oriented this way. And before we put our thermal face down, we want to put the fan on there. Um, just kind of eyeballing the fan. So we will have to take the uh, the fan off the CPU cooler. So this is oops, this is the orientation we want, just like that. Okay. So these are in the proper way. Now it never fails. We need this box that came with the kit to find. fasteners that go up top, thumb nuts, whatever they call them, tightening net, so it should be this guy right there that's in this bag. Okay, so there it is. We need four of them.
And we will get a uh, Phillips head out. These may be uh, meant for number two Phillips. I have noticed some of the hardware. You know, some hardware, you get away with using all kinds of different size Phillips, but some of this hardware, it's not the right size. It don't work. All right, so I'm gonna put my parts back in the bag. At least hopefully I am. Once again, all these spare parts are for the other motherboards. All right. Now, it would be good to use the ID cooling thermal paste, but I think we've got some better stuff around here some, somewhere. Or maybe we don't. Wow. Hey, folks, I can't find my thermal paste. We've got all kinds of different thermal paste around here. Some of them a lot better than others. All right, so you know what? We are going to use the ID cooling thermal paste. Normally, that's one place I don't like to skimp. But for whatever reason, I cannot find my thermal paste. You'll definitely find some, some of the cheaper ones, which this is probably cheap stuff don't hold up as good as the better brands so all kinds of things you can do um, depending on the base you know I might I might dot it so it matches up this is uh, not sure this is quite as big as that guy is but um, we definitely want to put a little in the middle I get it come out and then I'm just gonna Kind of lay it out. Five of these guys. And then, move that out of the way. So, take these off. We've got to pull down and away. And another place you don't want to do this over top of the motherboard because you drop this. This would do a lot of damage. All right. Always check, make sure everything's clean. And so fan goes on this side. And we want to orient it that way. You guys let me uh, put this on without tightening. Whoops. Number two. Number two is what you need, folks. So this just worked out that I can do this now, but to be honest with you, we should have did this before we put the CPU cooler on. Alright, so... Those are on. And I could edit that out, make it look like I did it right, but you know what? We're only human, right? First time doing this, you may make some mistakes. And I obviously didn't line that up good. Okay, so that one's on. The other side's moving around. Now, some of the aspects of this design similar to not to uh, similar to some of the other brands, but okay. 
So we can tighten this good now. These toe pads. There we go. That's on there nice, nice and tight. You do want to have good solid contact. Just double checking my screws here that I put in. I tightened at the wrong time. There we go. So that's good now. All right. So this is how it looks in case you pop off your clips accidentally. Now we're going to put this on. And whatever reason I have RGB stuff on here, this does not support RGB. Get that out of the way. That was from, oh, that was from the AS500 Plus that we no longer have. All right, so you want to be cognizant of where the cable is. So on this motherboard, the connectors, the four pins are in the back, right? So I'm going to come in here. Do the left side, or what to me is the left side. <laughs> it's not really the left side, but then we're going to come in. This is how you would do the other side if you haven't done this kind of stuff. And you want this to sit in this groove. There we go. So that's in there. Same thing here. We may, because we did it blind, we may have missed it. it may not be sitting in there right. And... There we go. So that's good to go. This is our uh, CPU fan header. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. And this can only go in one way. So you want to make sure you know where that plastic protrusion's at. And boom, that's in. So that's all there is to uh, this, folks. Um, now, you could go back and go, oh, look, that's a little cockeyed. So then we need to fix it. And I could come back and lower this down a little bit as well. But there you go, folks. That is uh, installing the SE914 XT on a LGA1700. CPU. In this case, it was the i7-12700F. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.